package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a new portable system from our friends from China. This is the five game simulators. Okay, we have reached the point that we're th I'm thinking, okay, we got a lot of great systems from China nowadays for the money. We can complain, by the way. And we having now the five game simulator. Who came up with that name? So you're walking the street, talking to your buddy, saying, Hey guy, what kind of system do you own? Yeah, I've got the retro game. But do you know what I have? I have the five game simulators. Yeah, nothing can beat the five game simulators. Mm. Alright, enough about uh, <clears throat> the name. So what are we going to get? It is a five game simulator, or in other words, we can play five different systems. It has not TF support, so we can add new games. Let's see, it comes in this very small cardboard box. Not a lot of information about it, but a little bit of an overview of this system. No. No. Right, let's do another boxing. And let's see what we're going to get. Alright, so let's see what we're going to get within the package from China. Alright. Um, I've got the red one. I like this color, by the way. I don't know what you, what is your favorite color, but I like the red color with the white buttons. <laughs> Let's take a close look at it later. Let's see what we're going to get. We have a very thick, short micro USB. So in this version, we have a micro USB. Okay, the AV out function. Yeah. For the people who are new to the channel, I can tell you already, this is most of the time a lot of grippy, very horrible signal output. So, and they are even using this smaller jack version, I hate it. Um, let's see, ooh, toilet paper metal from China. This one is very cheap with basic explanations, whatever. Oh, is this, no, no, there's nothing in it. All right, let's take a close look at the system itself. All right, let's do a little bit of an overview. What are we going to get? So the funny thing is this thing looks similar to an FC-168. So this was the, let's say, 8-bit version of the portable system. They are using this shell. We're having a D-pad. Feels quite nice. Reset button. I'm very curious what this does. Is it an actual reset button? A, B, and turbo buttons. Okay. Select start. And at the top, we find the on and off switch. CF slot. AV out. At the right, we're finding volume control. At the bottom, the micro USB for charging. And here at the back, we are finding aha, the BL5C battery. This is the old Nokia battery. This is a very small one, several milliamp or something like that. Can I see where is there an... Oh, no, no, it's 850. So there are some different versions, seem to be. Nevertheless, 850, it's not much. It gives you a couple of hours of play time. So it's not very special. All right. Let's power it on. I see the LED over here. Ooh. Ooh. All right. This new manual. Never seen it. There's no open dingook, so this is what we're going to get. Huh. All right. So we can see the five systems here at the bottom. It supports NES, GBA, Mega Drive, SFC, or Super Famicom, MAME. And here we have these little thumbnails. The first thing I'm noticing with this thing is that uh, the menu responds very fast. There are some clone system or clone handhelds or whatever you want to call these things. Have a very slow menu and there's no second menu. Okay, scroll through. This is what you're going to get. I have Reno Clo if you can replace them. I think you're stuck with these. <sighs> That's a little bit of a bummer. It will be cool that you can add your personal favorite games. All right, so let's see. We're having settings. That's it. Okay, we have a language, Chinese and English, product information. 
Mm -hmm. It says here DF card slot is 8 gig, free size, new disk, free size. I'm guessing if you see this, there is no internal space on this thing. Factory default, output. Oh, that's cool. You can choose it for the AV out in different region. Nice. Okay. Let's try some games. If I can get out of this stupid menu. Oh, ah, there's a button for it. It's a return button. Not a reset, but return. Okay, if you look at the screen itself, it's not an EPS screen, but it's not bad at all. It has this normal aspect ratio, so for the people who really love the original ratio, I think you will love this. Hmm. I think it's... I don't know if it's the speaker of the emulation, but... Wow, this looks really choppy. It's playable, but you can see that it doesn't run like it should be. Alright. I take the dynamite with me inside. I'm going to blow somebody up. Wait for it. Here it comes. <laughs> Alright, so let's try something else. Oh, we're pressing this button, it goes back to the menu. But the weird thing is, the menu is on English, but when I'm pressing the reset, it still has this, I'm guessing, this Chinese language. It's a little bit weird. So, uh, I can tell you, tell you already, it's quick load, quick save, exit, and return. So, so it's not a very difficult menu, so it's not a big problem. And now the test for the D-pad. Hmm. Let's see if we can do some moves. I don't know, I have this handicap, but it's possible as you can see, but I don't like this D-pad at all if it comes to fighting games. And yeah, we don't have an analog stick, so you're stuck with this crappy D-pad. There's no this Crap! Let me stand on the other side. Maybe it's a personal handicap. Let me check. Let me check. Go away, Dalsium. Go away. It's more like a personal handicap. <laughs> That's a fact, but if I have a good D-pad, I don't have this problem. So it's usable, the D-pad. But I still don't. I just still don't like it. Let's play some NES. Not bad at all. Hmm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, if you ask me. The D bed is fine for platform games. Do I see some screen tearing going on or no nobody? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let's play this game. Alright, let's see. So to be honest, if you look at the NES part, it's not bad at all. For an, and let's say a cheap multi-platform system, I have seen and hear worse, I can tell you that. Did I see some weird stuff going on with the screen? Not. I think that's something we can expect with cheap devices like this. Alright, let's try some GBA on this thing. Hmm. 
No way down the lane. Sounds really nice, yeah. Alright, let's try another game. I can't stop playing. I can't stop playing. I need to stop. Wicked, you need to stop. Yeah, if it comes to the GBA, it's not bad at all. You got the original aspect ratio, or it comes close. To be honest, I need to check out if it's exactly the, the right pixel. But if you just want to enjoy these games, I think I don't care if it's widescreen or 4x3. I don't personally don't care about it. But sounds good. This is good, not perfect, of course. All right, let's try something else. Alright, time for some Mega Drive. Let's see what are we going to get with Mega Drive. Hmm. Alright, power up. If you look at the animation, it's, it's not like it should be. You can see some little, you can see some little stuttering here and there. So the emulation of the Mega Drive is not really like it should be. But that is my personal thing. We love to know from you what do you think of this. And again, even if it's not perfect, can you live with it? Can you enjoy these games? Alright. Like a real ninja. Okay, so let's try and schmip. The sound is not bad. No. And again, the game is playable. Alright, if it comes to Super NES, this can be a problem because we have these six button controllers and we only have four buttons. Do so you understand that some games are just basically not playable? Then I don't understand add the two buttons. But yeah. The sound is really poor. Okay, let's lower down the volume. Can I play the game? Okay, you can see that the buttons are not met correctly. Oh my god. <laughs> because you're using the normal four buttons for directional shooting and <laughs> this is not like it should be. <sighs> okay, let's try another game because this is not playable. Not at all. Alright, so if it comes to playing Super NES games or Super Famicom games, I think 
you can already hear it. Mega Drive, the emulation was not perfect, the sound was decent. But if you, if you listen to the Super NES or Super Famicom, the sound is pretty damn horrible and the emulation is job choppy, like a lot of these budget systems. Oh, that sound, my ears are bleeding! Ah! Alright, so let's do a quick test of the AV out. So this is what you're going to get. Can I choose Paul for Okay, so this happens when you're choosing Paul. So everything is very horrible. So again, if you want to activate the TV out, you need to go to the menu. So keep that one in mind. Alright, um, I'm ready. Let's play some games. Let's see how it looks and how it sounds. Oh, by the way, this is how the manual looks now. They filled up the screen, so that is pretty cool. But <laughs> look at this! What? And let's see how it works. Funny thing is I can adjust the volume with the system itself. I have no external power, I'm just using the portable system itself. I plug it in, you don't have any screen. So keep in mind everything is directed to the television. I must say for TV out, it's not bad at all. I have seen whores. So yeah, if you want to play on your television with the <coughs> RCA out, it's possible. Just stop hitting me! Where's my super move? Oh yeah! Grab the hamburger because it's healthy for me. Come on! Just use the pipe. The pipe is cool. Don't hit me. Oh. Okay, let's try another game. When it comes to EV out, I'm not a big fan of it. I really love to see some HDMI with high quality output, but again, we are not going to find it on cheap devices like this because they are just cheap. Uh, funny fact, there are some devices are using HDMI. Um, there was one ET Games or AT Games, how you want to call it, ET Games clone that has HDMI and it's pretty decent. But the series one of the few that only has HDMI output. So I'm hoping in the future they are going to release some oh, budget system with the HDMI put. Alright, so for the final conclusion, I think people just, I'm going to say it, for the money we can't complain. This is what we're going to get if you want to buy a budget system from a friend from China. There are a lot of systems out there nowadays and this is what we call budget system. And this one even supports five type of systems. So that is Hmm, that runs pretty decent. Same with GBA. Mega Drive. Hmm, it's playable, but can be better. Super Famicom. I am not a big fan of it. And the main. Well, pretty decent again. So this is what we're going to get. It's a pretty decent system for the money. And this is what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. I really love to know. What well, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content. And if you like gaming, don't forget to check out. The Wicked Gaming Channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.